We're gonna get into another rant video today. I just got out of the shower. And, uh, so, I was just scammed out of a fucking car. And, again, all of this stuff I verified, too. Right? It's all information I verified. I verified the business. I verified the fucker who was, I was contacting. I, I made sure there was no fucking scam attached to this shit. I got a fucking VIN number. All this shit. But, again... Yeah, it's, uh, if you fucking like my fucking rant videos or whatever videos I make, hit the comment, like, subscribe button, uh, hit the bell notification on, because holy fuck, I hope to God I can fucking make a living doing YouTube and be big enough to fucking actually dent these companies, because this is fucking ridiculous, dog. But anyways, so, in essence, so I was buying a car from Craigslist, right? So again... Some you some people may ask, why didn't you order from Craigslist? Why was it so fucking? Why didn't you just order from Facebook? Yeah, because the car was six hundred dollars. I got the guy to wiggle off from a thousand hundred to six hundred. Some people say, oh, that might be shady. Yeah, I agree. It's just I looked up every single piece of the guy's fucking information, from his cell phone number to the business he was claiming to the location, the city, the fucking like everything right i looked into nothing popped up as a fucking scam right so i'm like okay i purchased the vehicle yesterday at like 3 p.m the guy tells me oh okay he'll be, it'll be here at like eight or nine okay doesn't come fucking leaves me ghosted until like 11 o'clock this morning tells me oh yeah my driver was fucking drunk driving and got a blowout in his tire he just got it fixed and should be there in an hour and 40 minutes. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. You just confessed to aiding and abetting a fucking crime, but I'm going to be nice. I'll be like, okay, if, if he'll be here by like one or two, that's fine. Right? So I still fucking wait. I still try to be nice to the guy because again, he seemed like a genuine dude. My car still is not fucking here. I like, this is just fucking ridiculous. He's ghosting me again. So, like, I, I'm literally just getting ready to go to the, the, the call the fucking police after I make this video, because this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, like, holy fuck, I have literally, again, the VIN for the car, because I made sure I got that VIN, because in case something like this shit happened, I could have a VIN report saying, this is the VIN, this is the car, this is the fucking color, make, model, year, which, again, everything lined up, right? It was a golden 2007 Nissan Maxima. Everything fucking lined up. From the photos to the background, everything. And it was different photos. It wasn't like it was pulled from the VIN or pulled from that. It was completely different fucking photos. So I was like, okay, that's fucking fine. You know what? Screw it, right? Looks legit enough. And the caller ID for the person has no scam history. So I'm like, okay, fuck it, right? So now... I reported to Cash App at 1 p.m., like 1 a.m. in the morning last night, thinking like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, you know? If, if they do deliver it and this actually is not a fucking scam, which I was go hoping to God it wasn't, I'm like, okay, at least I could tell Cash App, like, hey, th there's really bad fucking miscommunication that made it seem a little shady, X, Y, and Z, right? So I call today. I'm trying to talk to Cash App, right? The first guy I get before the guy calls back at 11 was really nice. He was trying to help me, right? So I call like 3.30 back again because he still doesn't fucking deliver the car. Now, this is why the video is going to be titled Fuck Third Party Call Centers. They need to have the call centers based out of the fucking country you're in. Uber, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all you fucking retarded ass companies. I swear to God, I could get a fucking snot nosed four year old and they'll do probably do a better fucking job than these fucking retards. So, the first time I call, they say, Oh yeah, just, just wait, this, that, and the other. I was asking to see if there's any options. Then I got the call, I call him back, tell him it's gonna be an hour and 40 minutes. Because again, he's coming, like, it's a six hour drive to where I live, from me, where he's going. So I understand sometimes they do pull over, you know, late at night, things happen, there's, there's raining outside still, it was pouring last night, there was flood watches, when I, when I, cause I looked up the directions from the car dealer to here, and like, so I was like, okay, yeah. So I call cash up again at three fucking 30, all right? They, this is a fucking problem. Like, this is, like, again, 
And, and again, I also understand the language barrier, but at some degree, right, you have to have a level of culpability. Like, if you're gonna say, it's, if you're gonna fucking make statements, like, like, just completely contradictory statements, and want to act like a fucking arrogant asshole, I think these companies should be absolutely opened up for fucking litigation. Because, holy fuck, the incompetence is fucking through the roof. Honest to God, I think there is more competence in r slash retard than this fucking shit, okay? I, I think the, I think the fucking hospice has more fucking life, the, a hospice patient, okay? Has more fucking life in their brain, and has probably just more coherent, co- coherent thought than these fucking retards, or these fucking companies, man. Like, holy shit, okay? Like, genuinely, holy fuck, man. So, like... They call me, and again, this is the same problem I had with Uber Eats, right? Like, you would call, a restaurant would be closed with Uber Eats, you'd call, hey, they're closed, and I can't make the delivery because y'all had y'all allowed people to place an order when a restaurant was closed. This is like a $20 order. Do you know what they'll tell you? Oh, but that's a, but that's a, but that's a, I think that would work for you. Um, um, oh, okay, 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 okay. Like, bro, what the fuck? And you can tell these people are from, like, East Asia, because every time I point out, hey, by the way, I understand there's probably a language barrier, and again, most, and again, 99, um, every time he gets into a call center, it sounds like you're out of East Asia, like India, Pakistan, China, etc., right? They get fucking pissed off, and I tell them, like, again, you're reading a script, it's like, it's in between your fucking mouse and your desktop on your right or left hand side, depending on what hand you use. They get fucking upset with you for pointing that out. They get extremely fucking butt hurt when you point that out. Like, I'm the problem for pointing that out, by the way. And they'll give you, like, the most fucking bare bones advice, like, Oh, well, did you make sure this wasn't a scam beforehand? I just told you, motherfucker, I did! You fucking retarded scumbag! Like, and they'll be like, oh, well, well our policy says, well, our policy says. Who gives a fuck about your policy? Do you literally expect people to play fucking Russian roulette with their fucking money? Like, like, do you expect people to play Russian roulette with their fucking livelihoods? Like, what the fuck is your problem? And again, like, Uber, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, whoever fucking does this practice, switch to fucking American call centers. People who actually give a fuck about their job. Okay? People who actually have reasons to stand to lose from this shit. Because what it seems like is happening is they're getting these call centers out of East Asia to fucking cut down costs, but what ends up happening is they fuck their customers fucking blood fucking fist up their ass, no fucking lube, nothing, just dry fucked, okay, that's what, that's what these people do to people, man, that's what these companies fucking do with their overseas call centers, not only that, if they had these call centers in America, we'd have fucking jobs here, okay, but these companies, because they're such fucking scumbags, are not obliged to put a United States area code fucking account based on the United States with a representative in the United States, Like, I don't think this is that fucking complicated. I don't think this is that fucking extreme to ask, hey, if you're getting calls regarding accounts based out of the United States, maybe that account should be transferred to the United States. You know? Or if you're getting a call in from a United States number, maybe... You should have you should have someone who speaks the language answer. Maybe you should have someone in the country answer, right? Because it fucking boggles my mind. And again, it'll take you sometimes five hours. I've been on the phone with Dor with fucking Uber before for eight hours before I can actually get fucking shit done. And usually by the time that happens. They're usually seeing all the notes, they're like, they're super apologetic, and they actually give you extra. But how many people are going to sit there for an entire work period and call these fucking retards? 
Call these dumbasses. Call these fucking goop brains. Like, holy fuck, man. These fucking chum brains. These fucking, like, chum bucket brains looking head ass, bruh. Fucking trashy brain. From, like, fucking Fraggle Rock, man. Holy fuck, dude. Like, I swear to God, if you give a fucking Down Syndrome fucking Gerber baby who's fucking shitting their pants this job, they'd probably do a better fucking job. Shit, a two-year-old could probably outdo these people at their own fucking job. If all you gotta do is read instructions, a two-year-old could do that shit. Like, the, the, the bar is set so low, okay, that you could hire a kindergartner to do this job. A kindergartner could do the same job, okay? Isn't that a bit fucking sad? That you're literally taking money that is so easily can be paid in America to these overseas fucking call centers in East Asia... For what? Because you want to save fucking money? Because you want to do this shit and you want to fuck your customer base? Fucking, like, you want to fuck them so hard you're going to be like that girl who fucking, like, there was a rumor about a girl who fucking put a sword up her pussy and cut herself in fucking half? Like, you're going to fuck your customers like that? Fucking Venmo, PayPal, fucking Uber, fucking Amazon, fu like, all these fucking companies, dude. Fucking cash app which is what i'm fucking dealing with right now like holy fuck dude this shit's fucking pissing me off anyways i'm gonna go fucking cool off man this shit's fucking like ridiculous dog like i hope the, uh, dude i wish every single one of these fucking ceos would fucking get on their knees while i shove my fucking big white cock my fucking thick, big, white cock, okay? All up in these motherfuckers' throat, okay? And that still would not even put a dent in the fuckage they do. And they're rolling fucking shit up, man. But anyways, yeah, this is, the, yeah, I get, uh, this, the end of the fucking video. Peace.